Why are we not getting that? Uh, Okie dokie. Right. No. We're live. We're live. We're live. This is fantastic. So this is a very, very strange experience because I don't know who is out there, um, but I know who I'm effectively sitting with. We're not in the same room, but in front of me is Kerry and Tom from Snow Windows. Um, and I'm thrilled that you are our first guest in our week long at home for Home Start because you've done so much, uh, you've supported Homestart in so many ways, e ever since we first met really, and um, it's been absolutely brilliant. Tom, will you just explain, for anyone who doesn't know, what do you do? <laughs> oh, who knows really? Uh, I somehow managed to carve a, a career out of spraying snow on windows, uh, making wintry scenes, really. That is it. <laughs> I can, I can, I know, uh, I know that your missus will be next to you thinking he has underplayed that massively. <laughs> yeah. um, he has underplayed that massively. What you do is extraordinary. The first time we met, I had never come across it. Before that, I, like everyone else, when I was a kid, had had some snow spray, which I'd mucked about with. And in fact, I don't know whether I told you this. Did I tell you that I'd wrecked my parents' double glazing? No, no I, don't know, I don't know if I told you this. So when I was a kid, my parents had that that Perspex secondary double glazing. Yeah. And if you spray snow spray on that, it melts it and you can't go off. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so so I, that was my last experience of snow spray, literally, until I met you, because my mum had not been best pleased. It's, um, it's because, of course, business snow spray. <laughs> yeah, it is. But yeah. then, of course, I I met you, and we were in a. Usually, we film the Christmas show at the sort of Christmas headquarters, but for some reason, the time that we first met, we we were in a sort of set house in London, yeah. and the day wasn't going wildly well. There had no. been a few weeks. <laughs> it wasn't. Do you remember that, Gary? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you remember us hiding in the hallway? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just was not going well. And I was, everyone was a bit rattled and we had, uh, we were overshooting and just the whole thing. And then you came in and it started and, and, and you took your paintbrush. Uh, now, look, this is, this, I was just talking about that. And it says here, we've got a, a question. Uh, no, I think that we're just, that we're just getting used to this way of working. Um, so w you came in and you started with your snow spray and correct me if I'm wrong, Tom, but you have a, a bottle, a can of snow spray, a regular can of snow spray. It's not special, is it? Oh, no. It's a regular snow spray. Yeah. And, um, oh, look, Lucy, Yvonne. Oh, oh it went. A, a message came up and then it disappeared. But um, I did I did see two names, which were Lucy and Yvonne. Lucy and uh, this lady we work with. Ah, uh, I see. Um, and then, um, well, hello to Lucy. And then um, we... Uh, so you started with your snow spray and then you have a little rubber thing which is similar to what you might see a painter use yeah do you have two a bigger one and a smaller one i have yeah, yeah several sizes yeah yeah <laughs> three sizes yeah yeah I don't, I don't. Um, and then that was it that was it that was that was all the thumb you know all of the tools you had and then you created this extraordinary extraordinary Thanks. um uh oh we've got yvonne thorough it goes again you see the message comes up and then you have to be a much faster reader than me oh, um okay. how, how talking about reading how you've got small people at home haven't you oh yes <laughs> so are you st uh, small enough to not be doing homeschooling or big enough to be doing a bit of homeschooling no, we've got Isaac, he's seven, and Ray is ten. Um, it's right. definitely been a journey because Ray is a teenager and Isaac has dyslexia. So there's sort of many, well, not challenges, but I'm not a trained teacher. So <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Times. Yeah. But, but um, so I, it was just interesting because a message popped up and then I didn't read it fast enough. And I was like, oh, is this my slow reading? Because I'm a dyslexic. And I'm the mother and stepmother of dyslexic. Oh, you can give um, me. But I <laughs> <laughs> um, 
but but Tom, what you do is extraordinary because you you paint with snow spray and and actually if we look behind you over Kerry's shoulder, we can see the, the picture that you've done. Is yeah. that is that a, a current one? Yeah, that, that can is see that there. Yeah. So I have I have I've can you see it? I can see it. I can see a rainbow. Is that yeah. some children clapping in the streets? It's yeah. it's some it's people clapping in the streets. So I I yeah, I did a I designed a snow window to reflect probably my favourite part of this entire experience, which is the, the fact that people came out every Thursday and, and uh, sort of clapped all, all the workers. I just thought, it, you know, communities have seemed to have come together a lot more now. We got to know our neighbours, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, absolutely. You know. We have only recently, we've lived here a year and we didn't yeah. know people that were two doors down and th throughout all of this is just sort of brought everyone together. So. I've, uh, the sketches that I've done for Homestar sort of reflect that kind of that thing. It's been extraordinary that sense of community. I mean, we're right in the middle of the countryside, so I haven't I haven't had that same experience. Although I know people in our village have, and but uh, friends of mine have been telling me about it, and I've been on Zoom calls with friends, and they've said, "Oh, it's it's eight o'clock, it's Thursday," and they've dashed off like it's a date. Yeah. And, and it has yeah. been a kind of date for the streets, oh, and it's been a real opportunity. The kids have reminded us. The kids are like, it's yeah. the end of we've got to get out there. And we let Isaac take his yeah. drum, yeah. so he's like uh, the noisiest on the street. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's just really good spirit. Just, um, you know, if you go out for a run throughout this period, or, or go for a walk or whatever, and, and people are passing you, you know, <laughs> They're not. They're, there's no heads down. Everyone's like just happy to see another human being. Yeah. I think. I think people are really realizing their need for communication. Oh, yeah. I found yeah. that. You oh, know, struggles. Yeah. I. I. Oh, Kim Smith. Hi, I'm a volunteer with HS and a keen crafter. We yeah. particularly oh, like our keen crafters. Well, uh, so for the keen crafters, just explain, Tom, how you came to this medium. I mean, you don't just wake up one day and think I'm going to become a snow artist. No, you, no, definitely you do not. <laughs> I, um, I, I, have, I have an enthusiasm for Christmas, always have done. Um, and I think I was in my late twenties when I did it for the first it was time. Our first house, wasn't yeah, it? It was our well, first Christmas in our first home. Yeah. And I, I think I'd had a couple of, couple of drinks and I had a can <laughs> of snow spray and I, uh, I just decided to spray the entire window white and then I just drew a picture in it and and then Kerry came down the next morning and I was like that's awesome <laughs> and and then it sort of it just sort of grew from there really just uh, over over the years more and more people asked me to do it on their windows at Christmas my mum and dad friends just you know, I just began, it's noble didn't I, it it is <laughs> you love that thing. I have to say, I like that too. I think, I think that is that <laughs> Kim Smith says, feels weird looking at snow windows in June, but this shows they can be appropriate. Oh, you see, I'm going to have to learn to speed read. Who this is a, this is a, um, and also, Ray's foot, our little girl Ray, her football manager's just said hello from the Rovers football team. Yeah. So that, oh, look, so on. now I can sit here. Here we are. I've, I've worked out. Here we are. Hello from everyone at the Rovers football team. Yes. Every, everyone is thrilled that I've now worked out how to do this. Yes. So, so a lot of you from Homestart will know Anita, and we and we can't see Anita in this conversation because it's between us. But we can see you and I, Tom and Kerry, uh, me. We can see Anita. Anita was sitting there looking worried, and I was thinking <coughs> Anita's looking worried. And then just now, when I worked out how to keep the messages on the screen for long enough to be able to read them, she just went, "Yay!" <laughs> <laughs> Great, because this is our first. It's all learning, isn't it? We're all learning, and I think that this is one of the things that is really fantastic at the moment. Is everyone is learning to deal with this new situation? I mean, Tom, we we started our call at seven thirty, didn't we, so that we could um we could oh, get ready. Increases. I came in a, a bit late because it turned out that these I don't have a pair of these. These belong 
actually technically these are mine but they belong to my son my son uses them for his homeschooling um and suddenly i said oh oscar where are your ear poddy things and he handed them to me and of course they were out of battery so i was like oh i've got to do my home start call and my talk with tom and kerry and i haven't got any ear pods and then you have a dash around and then i come in the call and then we're, we're all settled and all the technology is working and then um suddenly my wi-fi goes your wi-fi goes we're like oh so I was in my study. Now I'm sitting in my sitting room on the floor, on the carpet, cross leg, <laughs> with my computer resting on the kind of little, you know, stool that I have in the middle of the room. But I've got my home start banner, which I love. I've never, I need to send me this banner. I'm never sending it back. It's absolutely fantastic. Awesome. And it has got the, the fantastic, a child's earliest years are irre, irreplaceable. And that is an extraordinary statement. And it's, part of what Homestart do and it's particularly difficult at the moment with everyone struggling with lockdown and homeschooling and everything else um so so that's the chaos of it and I'm sure you've had the same you've probably had meetings with suppliers and clients and all sorts and you've been struggling with the technology of this yeah yeah well I mean, snow windows obviously is a very seasonal thing. So, I mean, our <laughs> preparations, uh, you know, sort of start now. And um, obviously, suppliers for our product and things like that, that, that everything got shut down. Yeah, and nice. um, Really? Yeah, it, it, uh, you know, we've been affected um, probably not more than, um, not as much as, as many other people. Um, but yeah, it's, it has been a struggle for us. So I know that it's been a massive struggle for a lot of other people. Yeah, I mean, we we were we did a lockdown craft show at the very beginning of the lockdown, and we were able to follow various protocols and get it off the ground. So I I was sort of a bit at the beginning of lockdown. I was very much involved in making that happen, and then once we finished the craft show, and everybody had gone back home, and I just thought. What now? Because <laughs> yeah. me, I go up and down the country. I mean, yeah. you know this stuff. Every week, I'm up and down the country, and I talk to people on trains, people in taxis, people, and and I feel I get my information about what people are feeling, and therefore what might be happening with the the property market and what crafts people are enjoying from my conversations with people. And suddenly, I'm not having those conversations anymore, and I feel very strangely cut off um yeah. in a way that i i wouldn't have imagined because i like being at home i love all this time with my kids you know and i i think that's been a problem for a lot of people i i know now when i do get a chance to have a a, a meeting with someone i yabber on like i am now it's just <laughs> such a treat <laughs> just a treat this is perfect no, no. Well, I, I don't, I don't exactly. have to talk much yet, well please. i know someone <laughs> is Tom going to do a snow piece for us tonight? Yeah, good point. I, that almost says, shut up, Kirsty. Is Tom going to do a snow <laughs> piece for us tonight? I've, I've got my so board, I, uh, board right behind so me. I'll, uh, I'll try. Right, and... Tom, come on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zip it. I want to see a snow piece. Really? Let's, let's see Maybe. how it's done. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. okay, right. You're going to have to bear with me because I've got to move my laptop.
Um, uh, fantastic. So look, now what? For, oh, that's the roof. I can tell that's the roof. Yeah. I mean, it, this is extraordinary. Yeah, but nice. so, Kerry, are you too young for Tony Hart? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I mean I, I think that what Tom does absolutely sums up the joy that I found in that in that show. Oh. Um, anyone who is old enough to remember Tony Hart and the amazing work he did and I'm sure he would have done if he didn't do it himself he'd have got Tom onto the show to do this I used to love Tony Hart oh me too oh. Morph yes the little plasticine model oh loved Morph and but looking at what Tom's doing I hope everyone at home is getting the same thrill that I got that that first time I saw it because it's just alchemy. There's a little house. There's a little. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, hold on. Now, uh, sound is back for everyone. Good to know. Thank you, because we don't really know if it all goes wrong. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. Gary, Granny Caroline in Wales wants Kirsty to make a face covering out of sleeves from one of her lovely dresses. Ah, oh, now it's funny you should say that because I. The, the the African print material that I used for lots of my dresses, I've always got a bit spare. And I was planning to either make myself or commission, lovely Rashmi, who makes my dresses, to make me matching uh, face masks to match my dresses. Oh, that's um, genius. I, uh, which, which I just thought, thought was a really nice idea. When I was a kid, my mum used to make dresses for me and then a dress for my tiny tears to match. Did oh. you have a tiny tears, Kerry? I had a tiny tears, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, I had a tiny tears with, with, with dresses to match. Oh, look what he's doing. It's so clever. Do you still, after all this time, Kerry, get a thrill out of it? Oh, totally. Like, when he was creating the window the other day, I was, like, dealing with the children and doing bits and pieces. And every time I came in, I'm like, oh, my gosh, you've done this, you've done that. And, like, the window he did the other day was the first time he's ever added colour with the rainbow. And that was that just blew my mind. Uh, uh, Tom, are we going to see any colour from you this evening? How did you add colour? Uh, I use... I use acrylic pens for a bit of colour. I'm I'm not going to use colour for tonight, you guys. <laughs> That's pro probably yeah. It probably would blow my mind. I, it would probably I, you know I'd probably explode on. on I, I, I could probably chuck something in there. It's funny. Someone's just asked Kerry, are you ever tempted to do it? Well, one of my um, homeschooling projects for the kids was to learn about the solar system, and I thought, oh, how am I going to teach two children of different ages about the solar system? Tom was upstairs recording music, which we'll chat about later. And um, I said, oh, I know. So Ray, my daughter, is absolutely football mad. I said, let's go and take one of Daddy's cans of snow spray and spray massive great big rings on the grass and place Ray's footballs where all the planets are. And Ray got so excited. She was spraying rings around Saturn. There was snow spray everywhere. And it was all over the grass. <laughs> I sent Molly a picture, actually. I wonder whether she could um, upload it. But that was another nice thing. So then Tom said, oh, my gosh, there's loads we can do with the snow spray. So we, we sprayed a football goal on the grass and did a pitch. We did hopscotch. We had so much fun. And I've got no skills whatsoever. You know, I could, I could do a little stick man in the window, but not a lot else. <laughs> So even if you don't have Tom's ability, you can still have fun with snow spray. Well, or you could use our stencils if you want a sort of desired effect like Tom creates. Well, when, when Tom first taught me, he taught me to do the tree. And I was like, I'm never going to be able to do this. And then absolutely. And I think um, if, if everyone can see just next to Tom's little house is that sort of cone shape. And I know from experience that that will become a tree, but right now that's a very simple cone shape. And um, and he's just done another one. And um, <laughs> what's extraordinary is uh, Kim Smith asked, do you just freehand or do you draw out your picture first? Uh, Tom, you just freehand, don't you? If, if, yeah, generally, depends on the job. If, if, if someone wants something specific, then I'll have to do that. But um, if no one asks me for anything, Particular, then I'll probably just turn up and um, 
So I'll work with the wind there, really. But then, now, I've just realised I have not sent you... Uh, uh, I should have sent a picture of the snow windows you've done for me, because, of course, as soon as I saw Tom's work, I was determined to have one of those. And, and two years running, you've done amazing windows for me, Tom, which have been absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, and uh, I'm very lucky because the, the, the particular window is quite big, so it, 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 it gives you the chance to really do something. Oh, is that a, is that a roof of another? Now, this, if everybody looks at this. To see how he does a roof it, it, it's so simple and then you see the roof just coming out of just watch this for hours it's such a clever thing oh look we've got more questions right okie doke um uh oh, any tips for beginners do you know what? I'm I'm in the middle of actually doing some YouTube tutorials because loads of people have asked me for years, and as you know, I'm not awesome in front of a camera. So <laughs> I've, it's taken me like a few years to to get the courage to actually start doing this. But I'm in the middle of it. Tips. I, I think you. It's just one of those things you kind of have to watch, really, just to, just to understand. It's it's not complicated. It's all just real, just little tricks, but. It's, um, I think you start with the thick stuff first and then you can just spray lightly over the top and just and then you're just drawing it out. That's, that's basically it. Now, um, Tom, you have very kindly given your time this evening because you're such a supporter of Home Start. Yeah. And this whole week, lots of different interesting people are, we're doing these chats every night at 8 p.m. because we all feel really strongly about Home Start and the work they do. If you see my banner, which I'm apt, I've never had my own banner before, but I'm, I'm literally going to go everywhere with this. And it's got the Home Start website on it. Can you see that? Homestart.org.uk. And, and the reason that I'm here and Tom's here is we really do want to raise money for Home Start because during this time of COVID crisis, families vulnerable families are in particular need and they really do need some very special help and we want to raise as much money for home start as possible to 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 give that help so if you go and have a look on the a website and that will tell you how you can donate to home start but also tell you a lot more about the work of home start then they find out about it they they're amazed they didn't know about it and they're absolutely bowled over by the work that home start do and if you know about home start you yeah, might be one of their volunteers yeah you, you introduced us to them um when i when i did the christmas card for them last year and uh you know it, it's just amazing what they do and, and we were totally up for it straight away once we found out about them i'd never heard of them before so no, but um, it's, it's yeah. amazing how many people like we've met um probably about four or five people in our, our group of friends that have said, oh, I was a volunteer for Homestar. Funnily enough, today, the owner of this property, I said, oh, you know, we're, we're going to be chatting to Kirsty Allsop. And sadly, her mother passed away. And she said, oh, my gosh, my mum had three Homestar children at her house. She was a volunteer and she brought three children into, her ho into our home. And it's it just blew this lady's mind away. She said, oh, I can't believe you're doing this for such a wonderful charity that mum really cared about. So that's sort of been, it's really hit home to us that there are an awful lot of people out there that volunteer for Home Start and give their time. I mean, you know, what we do seems so minimal compared to the volunteers that they have that support. They're the most amazing people, you know. And, and it's an organisation that's completely driven and inspired by that work that people do, the volunteering. You know, it's extraordinary in that sense. Now, someone has just sent me a message, uh, Simon Bandy. I oh, hope they're going to do new templates for this year. Yes, I'm sure there will be new templates, Simon. Uh, Maria Baker, hi from the rest of the Baker family. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and um, oh, this is a lovely message. Home Start is a much needed charity, particularly during these tough times. 
Um, that is could that's absolutely true. I couldn't agree more with that. Snow windows. It is so clever. It would be uh, oh, oh move so fast. Um, Tracy Pocklington, Kerry. I work with Julianne in Hull and think the snow windows are great. Definitely want to give these a go this year. Thanks, Tracy. Um, um, Kim Smith, I get so much from volunteering with HS. That's the one I couldn't agree before. And I get great training and lots of support. So when she says HS, she means home start. And that's the other that, thing. I that's, go on, Kerry. That's the other thing I was going to say that, you know, what home start do is, is so amazing and wonderful, but it's head office team, everybody we've ever come into contact with. And I can see Anita's face here. And Molly's are just beautiful humans. They are so lovely, yeah. and you know some of them have you know can relate to the people. Really, really passionate and care. Like Molly said to me when we were trying to set this up for tonight. You know, I'm about all weekend. If you need to test Skype, just let me know. Anita will text me at nine o'clock at night sometimes about something to do with snow windows. Oh, wow, saw this on the telly. That's great. They are such lovely humans that really, really do care, you know, and, and that's blown my mind as well. It, it is amazing. I once had the privilege of going to um, a Home Start award ceremony for different teams in, in Nottingham. And it was the most fun evening. I cannot tell you, like the <laughs> spirit of all the people who work for Home Start, who volunteer for Home Start. It was, it was just sensational. It really was. I, I was being driven back to. I think I was filming somewhere. I can't remember. And there was this driver waiting, and I just wasn't going <laughs> because, it, you know, everyone was just having such a nice time. Um, now, oh, oh, Tom, I love it when you do this. You've got the mountains. Oh, yeah. Hold on, just stand back for a bit. So. We Oh, oh I think no. Tom, you should do a Bob Ross voiceover. Lovely little mountains. <laughs> Anyone yeah. that knows Bob Ross. <laughs> Very calming man. So we've got um we've got Peter Grigg. Thank you for all your support, Kirsty and Tom. Oh, it's honestly, Peter, it is such a joy to do anything with or for Home Star. I, I can't tell you, it's a real privilege. Rosie Webben. Yeah, I agree, Rosie. So amazing watching the image come together. It is. It, it, it's kind of difficult because I know I'm supposed to chat a bit, but actually I just want to sit here really quietly just watching what Tom's doing. Um, oh. Ah. Uh, right. Fantastic. This is a joke from our home star UK CEO. Why are curtains no use at the Baker House? <laughs> no window. No, I actually think that is a really good joke. <laughs> I'm really uh, uh, like that. No windows. <laughs> no windows. You got snow windows. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that's our new slogan. <laughs> while Tom's doing that, I'll just say that um, he's done a couple of sketches. So one, I don't know what Molly whether you can post these up on YouTube Showing or in the comments or Showing something. There. So. Oh, I can actually hide my face and just show you. Or Molly, would you rather post it or do you want me to? Oh my God, look at that. Can we get hold of those, Kerry? Yes, we're going to do a prize draw. So right. um, what we're going to do is anybody that enters the prize draw, it's a minimum donation of two pounds, all goes to Home Start, will be put into the draw to win these signed sketches. And I just want to, I want to talk to you a little bit about this one. Can you see that? I can, I can. Look at that. That is lovely. Will you explain that for us? So Tom called this Every Little Does Really Help. And it's a, it's a lady pushing a trolley. And inside that trolley are key workers. But the really, really lovely thing is the lady pushing the trolley is our friend Sally, who's furloughed from Virgin. And she's working at Tesco's. This lady here is my midwife that delivered both my children, Rachel. This is Tarek. He's an ambulance driver that we know. Both Tom and I knew him through childhood. And this, he's going to, he'll dine out on this forever. This is Danny Phillips. He's a police officer, but he's also Ray's football coach. So we've included sort of our friends that, that we know that are key workers out there doing amazing things. That is fantastic. It does. It makes all your hair stand up on end. It's that is fantastic. 
Kerry, it's absolutely beautiful. And and for a t donation of two pounds, you get into the prize draw for that. Yeah. And there's no limit on how many times you enter the prize draw, oh, is it? Can no, buy raffle tickets? Yeah, and there's you also can, no you limit. You can do it multiple times. <laughs> there's Molly's no face. Well, no, is that true? What, what, what I said. Either. You can donate as much money as you like. <laughs> you really can donate as much money as you like. And I can say, as Tom and Kerry have, that honestly, there's no better place for, for your money. In, 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 you know, that Homesite is an amazing organisation which works with vulnerable families with children for the most part naught to five and those are very very precious years and at the moment for many people and i'm hearing from loads of friends particularly dads who perhaps haven't been at home as much they're saying how much they're enjoying being home with their small children and how quickly they're learning and and everything and and i just think that those families who need home starts help um they it, it, it's brilliant because I, oftentimes I've met people who've been helped by Homestart who've gone on to volunteer themselves yeah. because they feel so passionate about the work that Homestart are doing. Now, we've got some more. Oh, my God, look look at that. Look. Oh, he did the trees. We weren't looking. Tom, you we were chatting looking. and you did a tree. You did not have to do another tree so we can see how it's done. I think you're I'm going to go back. Can you see that one? Can you see that? Yeah, okay, no, right, I'm not going to say a word. Zipping it, zipping it. <laughs> so can everyone see he's digging little notches? Will you hold that to the camera, Tom? It's a little foamy brush. It's a it's foam just, brush. It's a, it's That's a how silicon, big it is. It's a silicon brush. Yeah. Not my normal one. I've lost that one. I don't know where it is. Oh. I can still do it with this one. Oh, that is just lovely. <laughs> it really is just absolutely beautiful. I always love hearing your excitement, Kirsty. It never I, I just <laughs> I I just I just love it. I, I absolutely Love it. I, I've never failed. To, tw twice now you've come to the house to do a snow window and I haven't been able to be there. So I've had the sadness of not seeing it come together, but also the happiness of coming home and finding it there. And it's just extraordinary. It's a form of alchemy and it looks so real. And that smoke, you can almost smell that smoke coming out of those chimneys. It was funny when Tom did the window um, with the colour, the kids both ran in and were like, is it nearly Christmas? Because they can smell the smell of the snow spray. Because they've been in isolation so long, they would have tried to convince me it was actually Christmas. Yes. yes. <laughs> now I'm gonna. It's just so clever. Uh, uh, I think this is a joke that I don't understand. Um, hold on. Oh, now this is this is this is important information very important information you can donate via the link below the video so obviously what carrie and tom and i are seeing is different to what people logging in are seeing but i'm presuming that somewhere along down here i can't see whether below me is a link which enables you to donate so please have a look at that and then okay i'm not sure I'm always nervous about reading something that's inappropriate. It says, he really is the Bob Ross of snow trees. Who is uh, Bob Ross? Oh my gosh, Kirsty, you need to look up Bob Ross. He was a famous American artist in the 70s, and he had a, a massive, right. big, big, frizzy Afro hair, and he used to create these images, but he was the most calming human you have ever, his voice. Oh, is he the guy who does the, yeah. the, the silhouette? Yes, 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 absolutely, of course I know. Yes, absolutely. In fact, I know someone, a woman who was an inspiration for one of those. Aha, uh -huh. right. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get home. I'm going to look up Bob Ross. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. He is the Bob Ross of snow trees. That's well, very true. I could get him a big, big curly wig to wear. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, Jack, Jack Hardy Healy. Um, this is at Standing Tom. Last Christmas, I uh, oh, last Christmas I drew a white winter uh, ski lift snow scene 
in the window of my sister's florist. Oh, lovely. Um, Daniel Phillips, love the sketch, even with me in it. Yay! Hey, Daniel, so glad you're watching. Great work, guys. Love Danny, Emma, Edward, and Oscar. Hands up. Oh. Who has an Oscar? I'm a big fan of the name Oscar. And and actually, Kerry, I do you know have we discussed before the fact that I have a friend called Lisa who also has a girl called Ray. Yes, you told me that. Yes, because it's not a, it's not a very common name, is it? No, um, it isn't. Oh, has he? Is that a reindeer? Has he done a reindeer? Yes, he's done a reindeer. Oh wow, that he does it so fast. I know. Like you're looking at the messages, you look at the screen. He's done something more. Lucy Andrew says, oh, thank you, Lucy. This is important info. 200 days until Christmas, guys. Look forward <laughs> to you soon for snow windows everywhere. <laughs> it's so funny. Lucy was introduced to me by a friend, and she said, I've got this friend, and she is so mad about Christmas. She will love what you do. She is mad and about And she Christmas. is crazy about Christmas, and we do snow windows for her work every single year. <laughs> snow windows are just the best. Oh, look, someone who does hasn't sent me their name, but someone's just said, we've donated. Great work, guys. Thank you. Thank you to thank everybody. You. Oh, everybody. Thank you so much. It's, it's really, it's really fan fantastic. That's, I mean, it's, it's lovely, lovely for us to have a chat. It's particularly special for me to see Tom at work, which is always a real treat. But ultimately, we're doing this because we want to raise funds for Home Starts. And, and, and that's what we all believe in. Oh, okay. Uh, you're going to have to bring it right to the fore just briefly, Tom, so we can all look at it. Now, I hope there's no one who has just logged on because they, well, obviously I welcome anyone who has logged on. <laughs> if, you, if, if you haven't had a chance to see how that happened, it is absolutely, oh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Now, I've just... Uh, is super now you can put it back tom because i just had a message saying we're zooming into the picture which obviously i forget that there's kind of special people oh yeah we've got a techie person, yes. <laughs> a techie person. he's called james and um uh and um uh and uh and i mean i probably shouldn't say this he's called james his mom anita works with homestar he's just helping and that's typical of homestar you know like like the other day molly's partner was um upstairs and he was called up to do something and you know anybody who is the child partner anybody who who is with someone who's part of home start they're all just you know dragged in you know come on it's a home start thing come and help and yeah. and everybody does it with with such a do you know not that uh, all the people this week who i asked to help nobody said no immediate it was just like yeah happy to help great home start fantastic you know and 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 it's actually for a lot of families it's not the most convenient time in the evening you know if you're putting people to bed and stuff so it's brilliant so there it is i mean i just the smoke the snow the drifting tom i love the way you do the drifting with the slightly heavier line on the top and the, and the yeah. and the snow and the sort of wobbliness of the snow on the on the roofs That's like nice. That yeah, is the you cool know. thing about snow spray that I can that you can make it a little bit thicker and a little bit thinner, so it, it just makes it look a bit more like snow. So there's not really another it, medium like it. No, it's extraordinary, <laughs> absolutely true. But what were you saying, Kerry, about music? Ah, yes, yeah. it was quite funny actually because you know for us as a family, our personal lockdown experience were, were very different for Tom and I. I'm very similar to you. My my driving force in life are other people. It's yeah. conversations, it's chats. Can you keep this going for two minutes while we go to the toilet? Yeah. And when, <laughs> so, so I was sort of going into this sort of, I don't know, I, for the first couple of weeks I was, I felt isolated. I did feel isolated because I I wasn't seeing anyone. Um, and then I was reading, I mean, I, I was reading every single bit of news, watching yeah. every government report. And after a couple of weeks, Tom said, babe, you, you've just got to stop doing this because, you know, it, reading and obsessing about it isn't going to change the situation it, it, in our little bubble here. In fact, it's, it's just going to stress you out. And I laughed and I said, that's fine, Tom, because... You've been drawing pictures, you've been spraying snow, and 
you've yeah. been creating music. Um, so, and he said, babe, I've never been happier. This lockdown is the best thing in the world for me <laughs> because I, I, I'm not very social. And all of a sudden, someone's just given me unlimited time to channel all my creative juices into doing exactly what I love. So yeah, Tom also sings and writes songs, but he's currently just in the bathroom, and I think he's going to be back <laughs> with his guitar in a minute. But yeah, see, look, I wasn't I wasn't too out with that timing. I wasn't too bad, but very much better. He's written he's written songs. <laughs> Well, you can fill in the gaps now. What's you can that? talk about, you know, what, what song uh, you've written. Tell us about your music, Tom. Oh, where do I start? No, I haven't got that long. No, I, music is just something I, I started when I was a kid. So I've been doing it all my life. More, 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 more than painting or snow spray. So it's just, it's just my, my passion. So, yeah. I, and I wrote, I guess I'm doing a song. Um, and I wrote this song during this period. And, um, so are you going to do a song, for, for a lockdown song? Yeah, Is this its debut? Yeah, I'll do a lockdown song. So I've just had a, I've just had a child slightly come in the door, but in fact yeah, I think he walk, just then. opened. Yeah, he just wafted in in order to. Let so if I'm sort of looking <laughs> down, look, look, Dandy, look, look, look yeah, you've got to. Oh, come here, you silly Billy! Come here, come here, come here! You've got, you can't not be on the camera. That's really irritating for everyone. Come here. Come in. I'm not just going to rub your tummy. Look, come in. Come and sit here. Come and be on. Honestly, she knows. She's just. So she's, she's down, down here. here. I have to get her on camera. Okay, Tom. Right. Right. Your song. What's it called? I haven't decided yet. I think. Probably, I, I think I've, I've written it down as Rainbow Song. So let, let's call it that. Let's call it Rainbow Song. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I wrote this basically like I said earlier about the, the community thing and people being a lot nicer to one another. So, um, that and is And during lockdown. Well, yeah, generally just during lockdown. <laughs> no, you wrote people during are horrible. lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall I do this? Yeah, yeah. oh, please, Tom, please. Okay. We want our, our home star hours to Fresh be up. very varied. I haven't had such a large audience in ages. <laughs> it's usually two, three. Are you out there on your own? Is the garden overgrown? Well, something's coming out, something beautiful I know. I can feel it in the wind as it passes through my skin. I don't know. Sending out a rainbow Cause I know this 
sunset coming round the bend. Yeah, I'm sending out a rainbow. Just know that I'll be waiting at the end. That's fantastic. Thank you. That is, that is, it's always, it's very interesting when you, you've never heard someone song, sing before. You don't know how someone's voice is going to be. Not, I don't mean in a, in a, but just their, the identity of their voice. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that, that is just absolutely Fantastic. Thank you very much. It's amazing how the quality comes across. Oh, look, lots of Lucy Andrews, lots of toe tapping here. Yes. Yeah. Molly says, oh, beautiful. Look, oh, look, Beth says, amazing, Tom, such a talent. <laughs> Rachel Warner, awesome as ever, Tom. Yeah, Tracy's yeah. wife in the picture. <laughs> oh, yes, look, it is, right. So Rachel's the midwife in the picture. Yeah. So Thanks, big Rachel. shout out to, to Rachel. My, my sister had a baby a couple of weeks ago. Um, and um, it's, I think it's been strange for, for those people who've had babies during this period because um, they, they, it, the whole hospital situation is a little strange and then there's not much by way of health visitors at the moment um, because obviously coming to people's homes and stuff. Yeah. So I think it, 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 it can be quite, quite lonely for people and that's one of the things that Homestart is, is really trying to help with. Um, and you know, Homestart does help with with people when they've got um, new babies because people people can struggle. It really can. At the moment, it must be strange to have that loneliness because usually, when you have a baby, family come and help, and they come and visit. Someone might come and stay, and everyone's popping in and bringing things. And and the idea of having that baby in isolation, just taking it home from the hospital, and then that's it. Um, you, you want you want your family to see when you have a baby. You want to celebrate it, don't you? You want to be be with everyone, and it's a yeah, it's a nasty, a nasty thing to happen during this time. You know, it really is. Can come through. And I read an interesting thing: just eleven pounds of a donation will go towards a struggling parent from Homestart. They will provide nappies, baby food. You know, all those all those things that. Thanks. Yeah, it, it, all those things. And it's so important, those things, because also when you've got a new baby, you know that vulnerability that you feel, where you, it's so fragile and you don't want it. And then suddenly says, there's this virus. And even though, thank God, we know that, that, that children are not, you know, particularly impacted themselves by, by the virus, it's still a very scary thing. And, you yeah. know, you, you're, everyone's telling you to go out, not go out, do this, do that. And then, and then suddenly it's like you're caught short. I mean, we've all heard stories of people not being able to get hold of things that they've wanted. So those those baby packages that Homestar are putting together are really valuable and much needed and very precious for people. Can you imagine um, being a new mum with no visitors and no SIM card for your phone or no Wi-Fi? Um, so, oh, now I'm reading out the message here because I can't believe, scarily, we're coming to an end. So um, I just want to make sure that I read out all the messages. Um, uh, so uh, where oh, someone's shouting for their dad. Aha, this is really important. So firstly, uh, thank you to the Abbott family, Sarah A, Jade and Ali, another and other anonymous donors this evening. Thank you to ev oh, everyone. Oh, that's my sister, I think. One of those, Sarah A. That's my sister. And, thank you, Sarah A. And then um, uh, we've got a message here, and it's really it's a it's a really important message. It says we want to try and raise five thousand pounds from this week's live shows to enable us to help another three hundred to four hundred families through this difficult time. And I think that really sums up Home Start that five thousand pounds can help that many families. Three to four hundred families can be helped by five thousand pounds, and five thousand pounds is a lot of money but in terms of perhaps other charities and and other things you hear about it, it it's not such a huge sum and i you know that's just fantastic that, that that you could help that many people with that sum of money so i really hope over the next week we can raise that that will that's a 
fantastic yeah. ambition to have. And everyone that um, donates can potentially win a signed piece see, of win, win, Yeah, let's see those again. Okay. Carrie, let's see those again, the pictures that... Um, Am I showing these? Are. Okay, can you see? Look, yeah. It, they're just beautiful. And we've had messages from your uh, uh, police officer and from Rachel, the midwife. Yeah. There's just, it's just beautiful. We're, and we're, the ambulance driver is um, working, so he said he'd watch it on catch up. <laughs> That's the rainbow oh. one. And there's the rainbow, and the family's clapping. It, I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. Anyone would be just, uh, it's an incredible memory to have of this. And this Tom's never done a sketch time. with someone of a snow window. So hang on, let me see. Hey. If I move you. Does it go all a little bit wibbly wobbly? There's... Oh no, it doesn't. No, there it is. There it is. So, so there's the snow window with the rainbow, and that's the sketch of that snow window. Yeah. Uh, this is very important to reach out all videos. So if you if you tuned in in the middle of this and you didn't catch some of what we were talking about or some of Tom's amazing workings, all videos will be available to watch later on our YouTube channel and on the Homestart website. And remember the banner behind me homestar.org.uk um i i don't know when it, it ends and i don't want it to suddenly end because you know we this is our first time thank you so much to both of you it was Pleasure. you know you were Thanks so fun for the first to say yes, yes. You've, you've been, been so good and brilliant for homestar and and you're just so kind and i really really appreciate it because it's there's I something about, I, I really, really, I'm sure it will raise some money, Tom, I'm sure it will, but, no, but there's something about Anita, the warmth of what you do. That, sorry, Kerry. I don't know whether Anita will tell me off for announcing this, because I can see her face as I say this. Um, yes. Tom hasn't released that song, and what he said is he will release it, and it will be a song for Home Start, and all the proceeds from every... Oh. Track or every I don't know what we say every every download. song every download and how do we and again how do, and and will that be on the website Molly it will, uh, Anita I, I think yeah. Anita's going to sort it all out which is why she'll probably kill me for announcing it early she's like no there's so much pressure on me <laughs> yeah it says yes we will sort it out but no it 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 it's it it's sort of like we were saying earlier it's like it's it, it's like a, it's it's a picture and a matching song and it, and it all sums up. How we feel about about what's going on, about home starts, about helping vulnerable families, yeah, and absolutely. and just because the the thing about home start is, as we were saying before, the volunteers want to help so much; they are desperate to get out there and help their families, and 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 so you don't just help the families with your donation; you also help the volunteers because you're enabling them to do what they're so good at doing, and all that training that home start put in, and it, it, it's just. It's so important, but I also want to say this is you were our first, um, our, our first at home with Home Start. We've got four more throughout the week, every evening at um, eight o'clock. And just remember the Just Giving page, the Home Start Just Giving page, and the link at the bottom. The link at, I can't see. I keep on moving my hand, but I, I can't see what's at the bottom. But I presume under us there is a there is a, a link. Um, and uh, Lucy Andrews says, well done, everyone. Love this. Merry Christmas in advance. Of course she did. <laughs> yeah, we, Merry of Christmas. Of course day. we should wish each other Merry Christmas. Um, See the I next time we see that. everyone. Yeah, uh, uh, next time. Yes, that's probably when we'll, we'll yeah, things. Um, yes, it's, it's funny because, as you know, we make the Christmas shows quite in advance. And one of our segments of the Christmas show was made in January this year. And I was like, oh going to be a bit strange it was made in a pre-covid world but actually i think christmas goes beyond all our fears and worries about covid and it just it is there and it is something to look forward to yeah. uh, i'm just gonna double uh now uh oh james is putting the schedule up for the next few days so do look out for that um and then uh and oh it's so nice when everybody sends messages it's, it's just it's do you know what? I was I was really nervous about doing this. I was uh, and oh, and yeah. actually, yeah. Okay. And then Peter sent his message. Peter Greg at Homestart.co. Thank you. Superb stuff. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we will. We will see you tomorrow. And come on, Kerry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, well, thank you, you Kirsty.
And I don't know what we do now. Do we do a do we do the Zoom a Zoom wave, the end of a meeting yeah. wave, and just I remember, button, like. you know, <laughs> <laughs> or, or do we just pretend that uh, we're still here? Or and the and the will yeah. drop the button. I guess you'll just just cut right. it. Thank <laughs> you, and just say goodbye. Do you reckon they're doing a subtle hint about yeah. what we like to talk? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>